welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I chopped up a chair because we all know how I love a free chair and I can't pass them. <laughs> so I chopped up a chair into two items for the garden because it's pretty much summertime now so I thought it'd be fun to do like a garden DIY. If you are new here and you enjoy this channel, do sub to my channel. I am gonna get straight into the DIY. Here's how I chopped one chair into two items. So here is some of the items that I'm using in today's video and of course my chair. I got this chair for free, someone was throwing them out. You might remember last year I also had a chair makeover where I reupholstered one. Some of the items that I'm using I got some paint, brackets, paint pots and some flowers. Little idea of what I'm doing today. The first thing I did was I unscrewed the base of the chair and I was able to take out the seat pad. This made it so easy to dismantle the chair. And now I'm gonna chop my chair into two. Using a jigsaw, you can use a handsaw if you don't have a jigsaw. I chopped off the top of the chair because I'm gonna turn that into something and that left me with a base and a top. I then went out to the garden to get some scrap wood that I had left over from previous projects because I'm gonna turn my top into a shelf and I'm gonna hang this on the garden wall. I just roughly measured out a bottom for my shelf and then I just cut it again with the jigsaw. I use these brackets to drill the chair to the base. You'll see how I do it now. And that was sturdy enough to keep the two things together. Just drill a pile hole and pop in a screw. As the shelf is quite heavy I decided to go for a bracket because I thought it would be more secure compared to just drilling in some screws into the wood. The bracket seems really secure so I do recommend the bracket. I got them in woodies I think they're only like one or two euro each for the bracket. I then brought it outside and I sanded the whole thing because you'll notice that the wood it's two different types of wood and the base was quite you know textured and I wanted to give it a complete smooth down so it would blend in with the chair so I just sanded the whole thing also disclaimer you'll notice that I'm doing DIY in my slippers and sandals this is not correct I really should be wearing proper shoes when doing DIY I'm just so used to doing it in my sandals but that is no excuse so don't do DIY in your slippers and your sandals don't copy me <laughs> So after cleaning down my two pieces, I went in with some Authentico paint. If you watch till the end of the video, I do have a discount code, which I'll leave in the description box, and I talk about more at the end of this video. I'm using the color called Blushed. It is super curly, super vibrant, looks really nice in my flower bed against the white wall. Um, you'll notice that I'm not priming this. There is built-in primer in this paint. Um, I have used this on a wishing well, and I've also used this on a couple of projects um, in my home. This color gave really good coverage, and I actually, I technically gave one and a half coats. I gave it one full coat, and then I just had to go around on the areas that needed a second coat. Really good coverage with this paint. Um, this is self-sealing as well. I didn't put any varnish or anything after. I just gave two coats, let it fully dry, and it was ready to be styled and put outside. potted up some plants so if you've been following me you'll notice that I have some seeds um, but they weren't ready for the pots just yet so I just picked up some I think these are pansies and um, just add a bit of like color to the garden and um, I have lots of perennials but I just popped a few annuals in because they're great for having color all throughout summertime so I planted up some pots these are gonna go on my shelf in the garden and you'll see now that I also planted up the base of the chair and turned it into a pot planter. 
So I staple gunned some of this fiber fabric. It's basically, it's what you use in your flower bed to stop the weeds coming up. And I had loads of it left over um, from when I made a flower bed last year. The great thing about this fabric is it's heavy enough to hold the weight of the soil, but it also allows for drainage because the water will soak through. You can add a few holes if you want to, if you need more drainage, or if you notice that your flower pot is going moldy or soggy, you can just slit in some tiny holes but you will notice when you water this that the water does come through and it gives good drainage. I simply just staple gun it on and then I cut around the edges to take it off. my chair I have some chair inspo so Joanne Condon who I yapped her all the time on Instagram we actually have a video from like two years ago I went down to her studio and um, she done a chair she had it on RT during the week I'll pop in a little picture here and uh, Mr. Carrington done a garden chair into a planter when we done our chair challenge back in like I think March so I'll try and get a picture of his and I'll pop it in. So I was inspired but I didn't want to copy the guys so I put my own stamp on it and I made the shelf and then the planter base. So in my flower bed I don't have a lot of plants that have height. I do have a few. I have some foxgloves, some lupins that get big and I have this kind of giant daisy sunflower thing. Um, but otherwise I don't have a lot of height so I wanted to put something in the flower bed to break up the wall and something that like reflects my personality and um, so a pop of pink so it'll be nice when all of the flowers start to kind of grow up and colour. I can see lots of buds in my flower bed but they're just not opening just yet but keep an eye on my Instagram because I'll share it on my stories when everything starts to come into full blossom. I have a discount code, whoop whoop. I have a discount code with the guys um, from Authentico. So the color I used in this video is blushed, but if you use Dainty 10, you will get 10% off. It is an affiliate code. You don't pay any extra, I do get a commission, so just a disclaimer. So it's 10% off off your order. It's on the US site, the UK, and I think during the week it will be on the front, front, as I say France, French site. Um, so I can keep you posted on Instagram when it's live on the other sites, but it should be live on the US and the UK and some of the Europe websites. Um, and it will be on more of their websites in the future. So I'm gonna pop it, all the info in the description box so you get 10% off your whole order. I use the outdoor paints. The paint I actually used, you can use on kitchen cabinets um, and you can use it on PVC as well. I actually have my kitchen cabinets and my PVC door painted in Authentico from like three years ago. It's not the outdoor one, it was the eggshell paint that I used um, I don't think they had the outdoor one in stock at the time or they it was new um, but yeah I have it actually on my kitchen cabinets and my door which has held up well. So that's it for this week. If you loved it, cheeky thumbs up. Do share as well. Let me know if you're gonna tackle a project. I love a chair and I think it's because when you start upcycling a chair it's just it's, it's kind of one of the first things you paint. Um, so if I f see a free chair I find it very hard to say no, even though I have no space for another chair. So that's why. 
There's half you here that I've got blonde and pressed each other had a row. So before I was rudely interrupted, I've lost my train of thought now. Um, <laughs> yes, free chair. I've no room for anyone. Here's the culprit. Sometimes she just gets a bit grumpy. <laughs> she might look cute, but... So that is it for this week. Um, I'm going to try and resist a free chair. But if you have taken a free chair and you don't know what to do with it, maybe pop it in the garden. Isn't that right, Blondie? She, she says, yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and we will catch you all in the next one. Say bye Blondie. Bye. Meow. <laughs>